Ishvartva in Sanskrit language is an abstract noun meaning godhood, it also means divinity. Purushottama the Lord conceals and also manifests the qualities at his will, he conceals his qualities like Ananda bliss and Ishvartva lordship in the jivas individual souls and also conceals his quality of consciousness in this material world. The Chitabhasa, which constitutes Ishvartva, is almost an exact likeness of true consciousness on account of its being associated with prakriti in equilibrium and consequently unperturbed by the gunas in action. He is Saguna Brahman whilst true consciousness is Nirguna Brahman. Ishvartva is only from the standpoint of Javatva. Both, Ishvartva and Javatva, are the apparent modifications of the Atman or Brahman. Though of mutually opposed qualities they are denoted by word tvam, the Atman is qualified by the mental states such as waking, dream, and dreamless sleep. The Mahavakya, Tat Tvam Asi affirms the identity between Brahman, Jiva and Ishvara Self-luminosity means being directly cognizable without dependence on anything else, and being different from that is Hichu proximal or concomitant cause. The assumed difference between Brahman that is cognized and the Brahman that cognizes is imaginary because in reality there is no difference. The assumed difference between Brahman on the one hand and Jiva and Ishvara on the other is not based on luminosity but on other dharmas Javatva and Ishvartva Advaita Siddhi 22 Ishvartva is due to the Upadi of Avidya. By the Upadis that are Avidyatmaka, Atavaka and Kalpanika by creating divisions in the divisionless and partless Brahman when in reality no divisions whatsoever exist. Sankara in his Beshya on Brahma Sutra 2.1.14 explains that name and form constitute the seeds of the entire expanse of phenomenal existence, and which are conjured up by nescience. The omniscient god i.e. Brahman, who diversifies the seed Shvetashvatara Upanishad v.12, who manifests names and forms Chandogya Upanishad v. .ie.2 and creates all forms, gives them names and entering into them Taitiriya Aranyaka 3.she.7, is different from them, the sage of the Mandukya Upanishad partitioning the symbol AUM in three different more adds a fourth more a less part corresponding to which there are three different states of consciousness, corresponding to which, again, are different kinds of soul and posits, the four states of consciousness, wakefulness, the dream, sleep and a fourth name less state of consciousness tariya, while teaching that there is an aspect of the Godhead corresponding to these states of consciousness, the last alone being ultimately real. The absolute of philosophy surpasses even such a theological conception as that of God. It is only to those who regard the universal being as immanent in their own selves, to them belongs eternal happiness, to no one else Shvetashvatara Upanishad v. 12. 